an ordinary dinner party, the sort of occasion we all enjoy. The men are exchanging witty stories. And look at the women, aren't they pretty? Look at the way they laugh, they're delightful. But now the conversation turns to more serious matters. I wonder if the government should return to the gold standard. I think it should. Good, then we're all agreed. But oh dear, what's this? One of the women is about to embarrass us all. I think the government should stay off the gold standard so that the pound can reach a level that would keep our exports competitive. The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. What half-baked drivel. <laughs> See how the men look at her with utter contempt. There they were going home. <gasps> Women, know your limits. Look at the effect of education on a man and a woman's mind. Education passes into the mind of a man. See how the information is evenly and tidily stored. Now see the same thing on a woman. At first we see a similar result. But now look, still at a reasonably low level of education, her brain suddenly overloads. She cannot take in complicated information. She becomes frantically and absurdly deranged. Look at these venomous halidons. They went to university. Hard to believe they're all under 25. Yes, over-education leads to ugliness, premature aging, and beard growth. <laughs> now let's see the proper way. Good. So we're all agreed. We should return to the gold standard. Oh, I don't know anything about the gold standard, I'm afraid, but I do love little kittens. <laughs> they're so soft and furry. What a delightful thought, you dear, sweet, fragile little thing. <laughs> Women, know your limits. In thought, be plain and simple, and let your natural sweetness shine through. <laughs>